you know, I'm just kind of waiting around for this Sims Delivery Express or a free patch update, whatever. I guess we thought was supposed to come today, but I don't know if it's going to be coming today after all, guys. The Sims community on Twitter wrote an article about the sleepover sleepwear set that is expected to be released today. Remember how we had a leak from that one Twitter account the other day? I'll have it on your screen right here. And this kind of threw everyone for a loop because we had a release date and we've never had anything leak like this for free content with a release date. So it was definitely weird, but now it actually makes sense. You guys, they are putting this set <laughs> behind a paywall. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is funny to me. This is getting a little ridiculous now. First, we have kits. It's like, okay. I know a lot of people were upset about it at first. We've gotten so many at this point. I don't even care anymore. It seems that they've given up on stuff packs to give us kits, which in my opinion, I'm still going to say it. I definitely think that they are cash grab microtransactions. But now Sims community tweets this. <laughs> the upcoming set seems to be locked behind the EA Play subscription. So you can't get this unless you're paying for the EA Play subscription. I don't know how much money that is, but it's not available for purchase. So even if you wanted to throw your money at EA to download this and have it in your game, which a lot of these pajama sets and swatches are really, really cute. I don't think that you can actually just buy it. I think that you have to be subscribed to EA Play. But then that also has me thinking, what happens if you unsubscribe? Do you lose content? Are you going to lose that set then? Which actually makes sense because this is what we call a subscription based marketing model. We see it with a lot of stuff that we consume nowadays with movies and TV shows, with Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video. We see it with music, Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music. We see it almost everywhere. So what happens if you were to stop paying for Apple Music? You would lose all the music that you have downloaded. You wouldn't be able to listen to it. So as long as you're paying that subscription fee, as long as you're paying that premium, you have access to that stuff. So I'm assuming the same works with this EA Play subscription. If you stop paying for it, then you lose access to everything that is available on it. So you pretty much have to continuously be paying this EA Play subscription to have whatever is thrown behind this paywall, which I guess isn't too bad of a thing because we see this happening everywhere. But for a sleepover sleepwear set, I don't know, guys. I also look at this and think about the future of The Sims 4 too. Are they going to be making sets and putting them behind paywalls now? This is definitely something that you would expect to come to the game for free. You know, in a free patch update, Sims Delivery Express drop, we've been getting a lot of free stuff and they've been doing really, really good with that. But I'm guessing that this is going to be a new form of content dropping. So is this kits all over again? Are we getting new sets that are going to be releasing ever so often through subscription only? This definitely raises a lot of questions. And honestly, if you're upset by this, I think you should be. I feel like if enough of us are really thrown off and upset by this, I don't think they're going to continue to do it. But I just wanted to come on here and make a video about this because honestly, in my opinion, this is laughable. Like I know a lot of people are going to be like, it's EA, they're a company, they need to make money. But you know what? I think we need to call them out on this because this is just, this is so bad now at this point. It's like, I can understand kits. I really can, but I don't think it should go any lower than that. $5 microtransactions. You get to pick and choose what you want in your game. It's normally very niche sets of objects or create a sim assets, but putting sets behind a subscription? Oh man. Of course, there's no confirmation that this is true or not. I guess at this moment, it technically is speculation. There hasn't been any official announcement. So I guess I'm just going to leave the video in this sort of way. If this does happen to be true, what are your thoughts about this? Because this here alone isn't the problem. This is what's to come. If they're going to be putting a set behind an EA Play subscription, or maybe they're just kind of doing this to test the waters and see the reaction, and then they might decide in the future whether they want to do it or not, which I wouldn't put past them either. Is this something that you would pay monthly for and support? Having
having an additional form of DLC for the game, paying monthly. And if you ever decide that you need to stop paying monthly, say you're having financial troubles, you just can't afford it, then all of that stuff is then gone from your game and gone from your save files. Do you support this method of subscription-based content for The Sims 4 or even for The Sims 5? Because who knows, they could implement that sometime down the line. I will say if it does happen to be true, I do not think it is worth it. These outfits are cute, the swatches are cute, but they're not worth paying for in my opinion. If there are any more updates, I will be back as soon as possible. Again, huge shout out to the Sims community for making Simmers aware of this. It all kind of makes sense now because that account was leaking content for Xbox and I don't think they've ever leaked anything from a Sims Delivery Express or free patch update before. So the fact that we got a leaked release date, which is actually today, on an account like that that posts Xbox and Microsoft leaks and upcoming content, it really does make sense that this is probably going to be something paid. If there's any more info, I will be back as soon as possible. Take care, guys, and happy simming.